Hello, this is Kevin Collins with Home Theater Forum. We're here with Nate today from Opal in the Darby booth talking about Darby integration with the DVDO Opal uh, Blu-ray player. Uh, Nate, one of the features that we saw in the press release is you know, the Darby integration. Can you explain to us what's uh, you know, really important with the Darby integration, especially with eight, uh, SD content? Well, basically what we wanted to do, we wanted to have something that was beyond reference. So a lot of uh, people know about our products being high quality, good deinterlacing and scaling. And one of the benefits of the Darby Edition is increased resolution, sharpness, contrast enhancement without loss of picture quality, without edge enhancement or other unwanted visual artifacts. So what, why would people want Darby for SD content when so many players and televisions upconvert. What's what's the extra benefit? Well, the extra benefit is that you're going to get more resolution, which was originally lost because of the low quality of the original SD feed. So what happens is a lot of the times the player will do good deinterlacing or scaling, but because you're basically making making up six times the resolution, you're building blocks which now have less inherent resolution to them when you perceive them on the screen. So you want something that could bring out some of the original low quality resolution at a higher definition. And the easiest way of doing that is increasing the contrast and increasing the sharpness. So for people that are gone to the other side of the fence and are all Blu-ray folks and don't really do DVDs uh, primarily anymore, what's the key benefits of Darby with uh, Blu-ray optical discs? Well, I can actually show you right on the screen over here. So right now we're showing uh, Rango on Blu-ray. 1080p 24 hertz source. Darby Edition is on the left hand side. Standard processing is on the right hand side. And if you look at the picture quality, just say in the rocks alone, you can see all these increased contrast highlights that you don't get on the right hand side. So you get a lot more resolution, a lot more depth of field, a more 3D looking picture even from a high resolution source. Now, you know, we have a split screen that's here. When, um, when you guys come out with a Oppo Darby player, is Darby on by default, or can people turn it on? Is there tweaking that you can do? No, obviously we're into tweaking a lot. We've always allowed very good control over the product. So on our player, we actually have a Darby button, and that allows you to easily access the Darby menu, which allows you to switch between three preset modes as well as off. So by default, the player is off, but you can manually change between the modes. There's sliders to just how much you want with it. And then there's actually full control over the unit, just like in our previous generations of products. Just a second. Which allows you then to have full control over the system, which includes the standard stuff our decoders made to do. And then all the increased resolution that the Darby can do on a pre-selected basis, as well as a user-generated basis. So that, that's, uh, I see the the side-by-side -side mode on there. Is that something that would be there when you ship so you can yourself see it, or is it just for uh, demo purposes? Oh, most definitely we're going to have the side-by-side. -side. There's also additional settings. So if I bring up the Darby menu again, we have split screen, which is you're currently seeing, swipe, which allows you to have something that moves across the screen at a variable rate so you can see the difference as it cleans it up. So if you watch Rango, for example, look how much definition you just got out of his head, for example, that wasn't previously there. Well, wow, that's impressive. How do you go about getting this product? And uh, what's going to, I know you haven't came out with pricing or anything or an actual announce dates, but can you give us any rough ideas? Well, we're looking at hopefully mid-October, late-October release date in terms of the pricing. Because of the increased cost of having the Darby solution, we're looking at around maybe a $599 price, but it hasn't yet been established. So what, what's that? Is it like a, a BD-104 or how, what's going to be like the model number for that? So we wanted something simple so that people can understand it. So it's going to be the BDP-103D, D for Darby. Got it. Well, this is Kevin Collins with Home Theater Forum here with uh, Nate uh, talking about the Oppo uh, Blu-ray player with Darby technology. Thank you for having me.